All right, here's my Radio Berry pie hat on top of the hat, HF RF amplifier, preamplifier. Puts out this one puts out five watts on 160, 80, and 60 meters, and it puts out uh, a little less on 40, and it puts out about one watt on 10. This is made on a, I know it's ugly, it's made on a perf board. Um, there's the receive SMA connector. That's the antenna SMA connector. And this is the transmit RF connector that I modified the, the radio berry board with. This goes out to my amplifier. This is the uh, that keys the PTT relay in the RF amplifier. That potentiometer is for the bias set. It's using two push pull IRF 520s, um, and they're um, they're down in there. Soldered to the, uh, you can get these in a, what do they call it, a DAC-2, or you can get it in a TO-220 case style. I've got this in the, in the DAC-2 with some pieces of uh, copper, real thin copper sheets that I cut out for heat sinks. And running this at 5 watts, it, it doesn't get hot and the fan can blow on it. Um, there's a homemade input transformer and a homemade output transformer. It's a lot bigger than what it has to be. The ferret core can be smaller. There's a jack down here for the microphone and the PTT, uh, yeah, the microphone and the tune button inputs. And it connects to the back of the radio berry by that 20 pin it's a 2 by 10 20 pin connector and yeah it's all ugly it's ugly bug style so anyway and it plugs in to the back of the radio berry and we'll demonstrate that in a minute uh, before we do that I'll give you the schematic you can it's just it's real basic um, the only the only connections that it has to the radio berry <clears throat> besides the transmit coax and the receive coax is the ptt input which goes to pin 13 on the, the that that 20 pin header connector and pin 14 is the tune button and 19 and 20 are ground, so you want to take 19 and 20 and, and, and make them ground, part of the common ground on this whole thing. And let's see, we've got, um, we've got, yeah, we've got, to, we got, to, we got, to, we got, that's the 13.8 volt DC line, comes in off this little axial connector and it goes anyway this is the um again the, the schematic i'll try and hold this thing still so you can get a shot of it it's pretty simple um it has a tr relay it has a high pass filter for the receive which is real simple it's just an uh, lc which nicely reduces the broadcast band energy makes it a lot easier to listen to and less confusing on the amateur radio bands, shortwave bands. Um, yeah, so I'll let you look at that. And, okay, so now we're going to break towards the, the radio berry. Ah, here we are in 40 meters with the radio berry. And it's uh, about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, about 4.30 actually, 
and the radio berry is connected to a Bluetooth speaker. Because the radio berry Pi 4 has Bluetooth. That is the uh, sound card for the microphone. There is a tune button here. Of course, if I I got the microphone wired up uh, to the PTT, which will key that. Not now. Solid state don't do anything flat top and two Okay. And uh we'll do a watt meter test here. Alright, so here's the Radoberry on transmit test. This watt meter is not very it's not a bird. It's showing a little less than four. <clears throat> It's not accurate at the low end of the scale. It's about 25% off. It's calibrated for the high end. So if the it's a 30 watt scale, that's the lowest scale on this watt meter. It's so it's actually four, four and a half watts output on 40 meters. Puts out more on 80 and 160. And that is looking at the sine wave. And we'll change it over to the FFT. All right, there's the fast form transfer showing the harmonics. And these are 10 dB down each centimeter grid square. So it's, it's everything is at least 50 dB down. Now that's going through a, a low pass filter that's if you don't have the low pass filter and it doesn't look like that, it's uh, it looks fairly clean on the sine wave, but it's um, the harmonic is uh, harmonic energy is only maybe 20 dB down instead of 50, which is not legal, but it's very clean. Oh, so this is a repurposed ICOM. 745 brick PA amplifier and that is the ICOM 745 filter board, low pass filter board with all the relays and I can manually switch it between the bands which I've got to switch for 40 meters right now and that allows this thing to put out 100 watts on 10 meters and about 140 on 40, um, 80 and 160 and, and of course you can only do 100 on on da, 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 60 meters. So, and I've got this connector here. I can unplug this. It'll unplug that, and this will plug into a. It's a DB9 connector. It'll plug into the back of my. Uh, Hermes light and that has a built-in filter board and the real this picks up on those relays and switches in these relays so it automatically changes the band when I'm on my Hermes light but this is not about Hermes light and we'll do a we'll do a test here with the with the brick in okay here it is on 40 meters in the dummy load and that's 90 watts with, I've got an attenuator, a 12 dB attenuator, or 6 dB attenuator. If I flip it to full drive power into the amplifier, we'll do this just a moment. I'm going to push the PPP. Yeah, it's about 160 if I drive it too hard. And we're not going to... We're not going to do that. We're going to turn this thing back down. Anyway, at 90 watts, that's what you get. Very good. This is, uh, the peak is 36.2 dB down from the center. And then you drop down another 10 dB, 46. It's at least 50 dB down from everything else. A little bit more than 50 dB. 
So there you have it. The uh, amplifier for the radio berry. Yeah, as always, you've been warned. <laughs>